Good morning guys from a very fall feeling kind of day. I'm meeting up with one of my friends. I'm gonna start prepping my surfboard so that I'm pretty much ready to go once Janine gets here. So let's do it. All right, so I'm here with my friend Janine. Hey guys, I'm Janine. Uh, so I'm originally from Germany. I've been living in Portugal for a while and currently I'm in Orange County and I love it here. It's so nice. I love surfing in California. She also does really rad surf YouTube vlogs. Thank you. And now she's here and we get to surf together. So it's super fun. Yeah, I'm super excited. It's looking fun. Yeah. The waves are good, you guys. Just got back in from our surf session. It was so fun and we actually ended up surfing for hours. Yeah, how long did we actually surf for? I was wondering. Um, probably three and a half hours. Really? <laughs> anyway, gonna go home and do my post-surf routine. I'm pretty tired because we were out there for a long, long, long time, but super fun. And I'm sure you'll see more of her because we're gonna be hanging out a bunch now that she is in California, so. We'll do lots of more fun surf sessions and other cool things. Yeah. All right. See you at home. Bye. And now for my post-surf skincare routine, which is sponsored by Osea. It's one of my favorite Californian skincare brands that I have been loving for years. And I'm really excited to be sharing my secret to glowing skin year round. I start off by dry brushing with their plant-based brush because it's a great way to exfoliate dead skin cells and to also promote lymphatic drainage. And after I shower, I slather my skin with the Osea Undaria Algae Oil, which is a seaweed infused oil that nourishes and visibly improves any sagging or dull skin for an overall toned and glowy look. And as a special treat for my face, I use the Hyaluronic Sea Serum to minimize the appearance of lines, followed by the Seabiotic Water Cream, which specializes in delivering more than 72 hours of deep hydration to thirsty skin that has been exposed to pollution and blue light. So to check out Osea for yourself, check out the link in my description and use my code for 10% off any products. 
So I am now all ready for the day. My skin feels so incredibly hydrated and glowy. I absolutely love my skincare routine with Osea. So anyway, I've been wanting to do some fall themed things now that it's October. And my boyfriend Michael is actually golfing right now in Irvine and he told me that there is a pumpkin patch right by him and I'm gonna go meet him there. It would have been even better if I could wear a sweater and boots, but it is so lovely and sunny and warm out there right now. I feel like at least here in Southern California, you can only get the chilly, cozy fall vibes in the early mornings. Can't complain, I love and thrive in the sunshine. But yeah, I will be heading over to the farm now, so I will see you guys when I get there. Made it to the pumpkin patch and I found Michael freshly all done with golfing and here he is right now anyway we're gonna find our perfect little pumpkins what size are you gonna get Michael I'm gonna get the biggest one I can carry I think I'm gonna get one Stop medium one. one and then one massive one that I'm gonna make Michael carry for me too <sighs> oh geez is this it So apparently they have a you pick your own veggies section and for $6 you can get cilantro, turnips, and onions. Oh, good find. That thing's huge. This is a big one. So Mike and I just went to Starbucks after the pumpkin patch and I got a pumpkin cream cold brew coffee but I brought my reusable cup with me and I wasn't sure if they were going to accept it but it was no problem so that was really awesome. Yeah nothing says fall like a basic um, pumpkin beverage from Starbucks but it really does put you in the mood for sure so I'll see you guys back at home. Okay we are back from our little excursion, Michael picked out a humongous pumpkin. I loved this one because it was blue and kind of beachy, so this is a great decor pumpkin. And then this is the perfect carving pumpkin. I can already envision a face with this one. So those are our pumpkins. And then this was our haul from our You Pick Your Own Veggies section some turnips, carrots, cilantro, and green onions. I would love to make a harvest fall themed kind of soup with these ingredients. Going to find a recipe for that. In the meantime, I'm going to wash these veggies because they have dirt on them from being picked straight out of the earth. Michael and I have started a little band and we have been practicing our first song together. Mind you, Michael doesn't have any music experience and he literally just started learning the guitar like 30 minutes ago. But we've been rehearsing and I think we got somewhere pretty good considering Michael's musical background. take anyway evening jam sessions Michael and my band that we just started <laughs> Good morning, guys. 
guys, it's actually the next day and Michael and I just got to our community pool for some lap swimming. So for lap swimming today, I'm actually wearing my bikinis that I designed with JoLynn. They're technically not meant for lap swimming, but they actually work out really, really well, especially for someone like me who isn't doing too intense of a workout and I want to tan at the same time. So these are the summer bottoms and these are great because they have this drawstring and they're super cheeky. Time to hop in the pool. So I just finished up with my normal swim workout, but I am going on a couple of free diving trips in the near future. So I have been working on my underwater breath holds and this is a training that I have been doing. So we've got a creamy turnip and carrot soup in the works here. First time making any kind of soup like this, so I don't really know what to expect, but it's cool to be able to use all the ingredients that we got from Tanaka Farms. Also, my two brothers are coming over because we're gonna have a little sushi making party. My older brother Ryan caught a bunch of tuna, so we're gonna make something delicious for lunch. And in the meantime, we'll also have these soups. Hopefully it'll taste good. Well, it'll taste good, all right. We'll see. It smells good. It's very, it very like fall, veggies. fall vibe soup. Carrots, potatoes. Turnips, maybe? I don't know what season those are. Let's say it's fall. Fall vibes. Anyway, so that's happening. Super fun stuff. I'll update you guys as the soup progresses and when my brothers come over. All right, so right now we're setting up our individual sushi roll making stations. I put on this kimono that my mom got me from Japan. So. I'm wearing this authentic shirt that I stole from Ryan. <laughs> Anyway, I think we're filming a little sushi roll competition for my brother Ryan's YouTube channel. I don't really have much experience making sushi rolls, so this will be interesting. So this is the tuna that my brother Ryan caught. So this is our 120 pounder that we caught. We also got two 200 pound plus range and a smaller 90, but this is premium bluefin toro belly that we got off on a beautiful epic day out in San Clemente Island. The fishing was just absolutely going off and very thankful to have this fish to bring home. Good job, everybody. Good job. Good job to our contestants today. So sushi night was a success. It was really fun having my two brothers over to make sushi rolls. The night is not over though. It's about 
8.30 p.m. I want to say. Um, my friend Emily is actually driving from LA to my place right now and we are driving down to Mexico tonight. We are going to be staying a little bit south of the border for a fun surf weekend to celebrate her boyfriend's birthday. So I am in the midst of packing up my car for this adventure. And even though I'm pretty tired, I'm trying not to think about the long night ahead of me and instead just focusing on the positive that we will be waking up in a really fun, beautiful place and hopefully the waves will be really good. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to update you guys as we drive across the border. It might be a little too hectic, but if that's the case, I will see you guys nice and early tomorrow morning from Mexico. Tiempo en el reloj. Hoy mis deudas reciben perdón. Pago por el show. Good morning from Mexico. We just had a delicious breakfast and now we're all getting ready to go for our very first morning surf session. And I am going to be wearing my 4 3 full suit in Jonesy. Te burlaste de mí, se hace a cabo. Trata de festejar, celebramos el bienestar Tantas estrellas brillan, quiero un carro que corra más Nada me rompe, no, no, nada me rompe Trata de festejar, celebramos el bienestar Tantas estrellas brillan, mi parte me estará bien I am watching a super lovely sunset right now from the balcony. I actually just woke up from a nap. I was so, so tired after the long night last night and then surfing all morning and then eating tacos for lunch. Would do that too, but anyway, just enjoying the view and I thought I would end my vlog here. Um, my first vlog of the fall season so that's really fun and thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys in the next video bye